Welcome back to Let's Play Hollow Knight. Today we're starting off with the Ancestral Mound, having uh, basically fully explored the Forgotten Crossroads. Oh, who is that creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim. A strange empty face and a wicked looking weapon. Something important has drawn you down into Hollow Nest's corpse, but I won't ask what. Perhaps the reason you found me is because you need my help. Say no more, friend. I'm going to give you a gift. A nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for a little one like you. <laughs> Whoops. Consumed the vengeful spirit. Tap me to unleash the spirit. Spells will deplete soul or punish soul by striking enemies. Let's see, I'm going to turn the game up. Because I've also turned myself up, as I'm sure you can hear. Oh, uh -huh. you've woken at last. I apologize. Perhaps I should have warned you about the power of that spell. I was watching over you as you slept, but seemed to have slipped away myself. <laughs> now we're awake, I was wondering whether you'd do me a small favor. Not as repayment for my gift, of course. Simply because we're now friends. You see, a horrid great beast has made its home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect. I would be quite grateful if you were to venture deeper in and slay it for me. It's a hardy creature, but with your new power, you're more than a match for it. Good luck with this small favor, my friend. <laughs> so, our new projectile attack shoots forward, and it does kind of a crap load of damage. But, of course, it consumes the same amount of soul as healing. So you gotta be kind of conservative with it. I should have seen that one coming. Okay. Again, gotta make sure I'm using vertical attacks specifically when fighting things in the air. Got a soul station here. Not sure I want to waste that right now. Ow! Oh man, I lost on that guy's Geo. Oh well. Huh. Another shield cocoon. Nice. So yeah, this is how you're supposed to deal with this guy. Sometimes they'll shoot enemies at you so that, you know, you can actually recover some soul. I forgot that you can waste the healing. Don't break that just yet, because you can get the soul catcher. Which I think just gives you more soul from hitting enemies. 
Yeah. Um, costs two notches, and currently, well, we don't need the Wayward Compass right now, necessarily. Oh. oh, so it's done then. You've slain the beast. The poor thing. It must have been terrified of you. He used to be quite docile, but the rancid air in these caverns filled it with some ancient rage. Still, he did what had to be done. You have my gratitude. Of course, we both know you wouldn't have made it through the, without that spell of mine. <laughs> and look, the gate between us has opened. <laughs> I'm sure you're eager to move on. Farewell, and have faith. Whatever you are seeking, it will find you. <laughs> Why do you hesitate? You'll get nothing more from me, I'm afraid. Though I do admire your persistence. <laughs> I don't like that guy. There's a guy I dislike more, though, coming up. In Green Path. As long as I'm, like, vaguely aware of where I am, I should be fine. And getting way more soul is going to be very nice, both for projectiles and healing, of course. See, that was the False Knight. So let's go... We have a lot of Geo, so let's go back to the surface first. Um, I'm not going to buy the upgrade shards. God, really? Um, because I don't see much point in spending the Geo on part of an upgrade that's not actually going to, you know, complete the upgrade for me. Um, unless I have, like, so much Geo, I'm pretty sure that I could buy as many as I need to upgrade. Assuming the shop sells multiples. Failing a basic platforming, it's just what I do. Definitely will not say no to all that free extra geo. Ascend! Okay. So let's stop in here first. Ah, <sighs> nada. I don't really need any of these pittance, actually. <clears throat> I can buy the Stalwart Shell. Or the Rancid Egg. I'll buy this because it's a key item, I think. Um... I'm going to save up for the key and then the lantern, I think. My understanding of Hallowness can be a little vague, but below those leafy caverns is a fungal grove, once home to peaceful creatures, not quite bug and not quite plant. 
Sounds almost worth a visit, no? Well, there's a downside. The awful stench. Noxious odor fills the place. No, no, I... I will get lost unless I... have the... wayward compass on. It sucks, but I'll just have to wait until I get more notches. I think it's faster to get to Green Path. From here, yeah. I don't know if the projectile can free the Caterpies. So I'm not going to concern myself with that just yet. Alright. Um, yeah, this is the one to the green path, I think. slower path first. Oh, that's just the easier way to go. Actually, it's the only way to go until we get the jump upgrade, which... Is that here? Right, so green path is marginally spooky in part because, you know, there are disguised enemies like that. Uh, there's also a boss fight here that I have had trouble with in the pa- Ow! Jeez. Okay. Orange Cloud stuff? That is damaging. Oh. And we don't have a map for this area. not like this bug. It's Smug Aura Mox. Ah! Okay, I see how I was supposed to see it now. I'm also not used to Metroidvanias being like even somewhat difficult. So I kind of overestimate difficulty in harder ones. Okay, bench. We can do a sit. Oh no. Is this already? No. Hello, friend. Can't get up there yet. Remember them. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it from up close. Jeez, more and more enemies are... <clears throat> doing that orange stuff. Wait a second, is this... If this is what I think it is, then that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. 
It's not what I think it is. I just need... Oh, no, I can barely... I thought I had to jump off of it as it fell. Which would have been extremely cool platforming. Hey, right, think about it. Orange stuff. It's kind of clouding the shopkeeper. Oh! Hey, buddy. Isn't this a contrast from the crossroads? Such a humid, lively place. The roads twist and turn in the most wonderful ways. I've done my best to chart the area ahead, though I must admit some of the area's inhabitants prove quite a nuisance. 60 Geo for a map. I ran into another traveler as I made my way down here. I tried to call out to her as she dashed past, but she barely even glanced in my direction. Not an appreciator of maps like you and I, obviously. Yep. That's her. Now, we can head down. Because I cut that platform down. And it's a shortcut. Have I mentioned that this game actually does take, like, a significant number of cues from the Souls games? I'm not being facetious with that. I know, you know, shortcuts are a thing in a fair number. <laughs> oh, I don't get Geo from that kind of kill. Um, but, you know, they're less of a thing and more of, oh, an upgrade lets you go through this place faster. Usually. Oh, uncharted territory. I don't like this fellow. Tiny squib, you approach fearless. Are you a hunter? <coughs> I can't do that. Are you a hunter like me? Do you feel the urge inside to stalk, to kill, to understand? T then take it, my journal. It will aid you. At first, the text may seem difficult to discern, but a learned hunter will come to understand its words. Venture the depths of this land and slay its beasts. Prove yourself worthy to bear the mark of Hunter. Take in the Hunter's Journal. Defeat enemies to add new entries to the journal and decipher the Hunter's notes. I don't like this guy. Little squib. You may have overcome a few creatures, but you are only just beginning. Don't delay. Descend into the belly of this world and hunt down the life you find. Oh, there are multiple rancid eggs. Okay. Crawl in. Timid skip. I'm not going to go through all of these entries, but, like, look at all the enemies we have fought already. Except the Shade. We have not fought the Shade, because that's how you reclaim um, Geo after you die. Each of us leaves an imprint of something when we die. A stain on the world. I don't know how much longer this kingdom can bear the weight of so many past lives. I will look at the boss ones, though. False knight. Weak creatures love to steal the strength of others. Their lives are brief and, brief and fearful, and they yearn to have the power to dominate those who have dominated them. Yeah, this guy, I don't like him. But he does provide enemy lore, so there is that. For what it's worth. <laughs> 
Sadly, acid does seem to eat away at uh, Geo. I can't get over there yet without a jump upgrade. I assume it's a double jump. I think there's also a wall jump. Oh, no. There's clearly an, a wall jump because of that one area we found earlier in the crossroads. Okay, let's continue on. she doing? I'm gonna free that little firefly. Uh, let's see. There's a way down here. I do love the fact that, you know, certain rooms will have different music from the general area. Ah! That was a lot of knockback, what the heck? A lot of, like, husks of bugs, which makes sense. They are bugs. They die of at least semi-natural causes. They're gonna leave behind their shells. Ah! Eat it. Jerk. Eat it. Statue, eat it, me. Ah, frickin' fool traps or fool eaters. I don't like you, you're spooky. I'll go into your temple though. Another dark room. I should, like, write down where these things are. <laughs> I guess the shade is automatically in the journal, so that to get 100% you can do it deathless, or 113%. I don't know if the 113% includes, like... Officially, it's DLC, but, like, the update expansions. The hell? Fog Canyon. I have not been here. I'm being very careful not to hit them when they're... zapping. Whoa! Explosion kinda threw me off there. I'm not getting through there. I can't get the map of Fog Cavern yet. Oh, that's what happens. And we kind of got to go kill our shade.
because otherwise we can't collect soul. Yeah, a lot of things about this game kind of are pointing me towards the thesis that we are not a good guy. Wow, that sent me back a bit. Oh, it's homing. Cool. Now give me my crap back. Okay, hitting them when they're lit up doesn't seem to actually do anything bad for me. Um, I'm not gonna just mindlessly kill the big ones. That seems like a really bad idea. Wait, is that a fast travel station down there? Is that what that... or the stag station? The sign was pointing down and right. It is! Wow, I can recognize the architecture already. Queen Station. Um... Hello. Isn't this something? I had not expected to discover so huge a stag station after that foggy descent. The bugs of Hello Nest must have been an impressive lot, building such grand structures so far into these wilds. It seems the dangerous creatures about haven't yet made their way in here. It's the perfect place for a quick rest. Can you imagine this place in its time? Hordes of bugs traveling about the kingdom, stag bells ringing, the station bustling with activity and life. Now only our like even know it exists. It's a special thing, I suppose, to cherish these sights, even in their decay. Hmm. Is it that just faintly you can still hear the echo of the bells? And the chatter of the people who lived here once. Unlock this station. There's still more stuff off shooting from here, though. Okay, that requires the wall jump to get this, uh, Mask shard, I think, not warp shard. So that's a piece of heart. And then when I get, I think there's like an air dash I can get to go up there. And what's right here then with the Nautilus shell? Hello there, dearie. I was about to close up shop and run until you came along. I provided banking service if you're interested. Losing one's geo is a terrible thing, and it's so much more likely if you carry it up out on yourself. My vault is much more secure. All my time as a banker, I've never lost a single geo. Maybe you considered opening an account? Yeah, that seems like a good idea. You're a smart one. Next time some dreadful beast gets the best of you, they'll be glad to know your geo's safe within my ship. Uh, my vault. Now, let's do some banking. I can only put in multiples of 50, I guess. Goodbye, then. Stay safe. So I guess that's what the shells will mean. I 
seem to get a good amount of soul from hitting the smaller jellyfish. Okay. Um, I never went over here, because I was looking for the stag station. Um, can't do anything about those vines. Yet. Okay. So, they have a hard time actually turning, but have a large area of effect even if they hit a wall instead of you. I'm going to have to actually fight them. There's really not getting around that. Um, that seems to be everything I can do here yet. But that is a really cool area. Can't get over there without some form of double jump or air dash. I'm I don't know the actual abilities you get, I'm just listing off typical Metroidvania ability types. Oh, I should I should use this bench. Money. Give me your soul. Ow. <laughs> I'm taking you with me. these enemies that hide behind the background. <laughs> or the foreground. Can't go behind the background. I dislike these things. I'm just gonna say it. Her again. Why is she following us? I guess technically we'd be following her, but it seems like we're going the same direction for whatever reason. Oh, there's a goodie over there. I can get through this platforming section. I can't yet, because I don't have a wall jump or dash. Okay, that post-mortem explosion is damaging. I technically didn't know that yet. Aha! Okay. This is a big room. 
Ooh, money. Hubris. Not my hubris. Maybe I should have followed her. Because uh. I'm noticing a distinct lack of benches. the path I'm taking. I can't do anything here yet. The greater mind once dreamed of leaf and cast these caverns so. In every bush and every vine, the mind of Un reveals itself to us. like the enemies with shields, because it actually feels like a duel, which is a very cool feeling, even just for a random enemy encounter. You just keep ascending through this place. Oh, there was a bench down there, apparently. Huh. Back into the caverns here. Oh, this is a different area altogether now. How many areas go off come off of a green path? I feel like there's a ton of stuff that's open to me now. <laughs> Because I have the city crest, I have almost enough for the small key. Okay, can't do anything here, really. Because I don't have the dash. the dude who looks like me. Oh, you're just
just a bigger one of those friggin' mosquito dudes. No problem. That's a lot of orange. Get tanged. Oh, are you, uh... Oh, you're alright. Just what do you think you're doing? You dare to come between me and my prey? Is it a habit of yours to scurry about getting in the way and causing bother? Know this, Kerr. I am Zote the Mighty, a knight of great renown. Cross me again, you'll find out why they call my weapon Life Ender. <laughs> your, your weapon's name is Life Ender? What are you still bothering me for? I'm a knight. I'm not interested in your childish games. I need my rest. Be gone, lest I draw my nail. Hmm. You're welcome. Dude seems grumpy. Also, full disclosure, yes, I am absolutely just procrastinating that boss fight. The green children walked from the dream unto these lands. Here we now shall wait, patient for the call to return. Am I just playing La Milana again? I mean, I like La Milana. A lot. But I'm not sure if I'm morally prepared to play La Milana again. Oh, that could have gone very badly. But I got a crap load of money. Oh. Controller issues. Ah! F Let's go get that back before we end off, because that is, that is a lot of money, and I need a lot of money. We've got to have money. I don't even know what that friggin' clip is from, it's just very quotable, because it's one quote. Don't do that. You should say something else. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny to kill those things. I should be killing them a lot more. Oh wait, uh, I can go up from here, right? Yes, I think. Uh, Cause they do give a crap load of money considering they're like brief wax to kill with the current nail, which, you know, spoiler alert, we're going to get better nails. Stop the friggin' press. Oh my God, I have to pay money for this, don't I? 50 Geo. It's worth it. It's worth it just sounds like a lame brand slogan. For Geo Banking. It's worth it. Oh, th there's a freaking money cash right there.
The sad thing is, a toll bench sounds like, you know, an anti-homeless thing. Not anti-homelessness, anti-homeless, like people. right over here. Now I know that there's the shortcut there. Wow, this is going to take forever to recover. But it's worth it, considering how much friggin' money it is. Ow. Boing. I know you're worth a lot of money, but it is not worth my time right now. Or the potential death. I'm just kind of killing things that are in my way. Because that's also going to help me save up for that key. Very soon. In fact, I may not even need to make a withdrawal. Okay. You're guarding one of them. Um, let's go over here and open the shortcut first of all. Okay. Got my Geo back. And my full Soul capacity back. And you're freed, which is going to be a ton of Geo in the future. And... you know what? Ow. Okay, you can do a one-two swing sometimes. Get away from the second one. And come over here and heal. Okay. Okay, you're dead. That's what matters. Um, bench, 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 bench. If nothing else, I can get way closer to the bench I've already used. That also lets me get over here, which is... Oh, wait. I can panic less now. I have two health. Oh, a stag station. Yeah, let's uh, get that, and that's a good end point. Okay, next time on Let's Play Hollow Knight, I could procrastinate more, but really what I need to do is just go deposit money and then fight that boss. 
See you guys then.